hello guys so welcome back to my youtube channel i go by the name the record is jkb today i'm here with another tutorial on how to back up your database so backing up your database is important because imagine that you have queued all your songs and one day you find out that all your hot cues are disappear or your database has corrupt and you do have a backup it will be painful so i'm going to show you how to back up your database or to back up your hot queues so wherever your database corrupt you can reinstall the backup one so without wasting your much time let's go so you click on this dot icon that is browser option and, and select database click on create database backup so it is creating our database for us okay so we have created the database here so you need to copy this one and save it somewhere safely so whenever your database corrupt you can really store this one so let's open the zip file and see so you can see these are the things that we have made a backup of so setting backup database backup and you can see side views paths my list, mappers, history, and folders. So these are things that we have made backup of. So as I said, you need to copy it and save it somewhere safely. I'm going to save mine in my drive D. So I'll cut, I'll cut it and paste it, paste it here okay so you can close this folders right now so you can see i have queued all these songs you can see i have queued all these songs so if your database corrupt all these queues will disappear so i'm going to show you where your database is located so you won't mistakenly delete it so when you come to your drive d or where you save all your files you see this or you always see this virtual dj even when you you put pen drive in your machine and you play a song from the pen drive you will go and see this folder in your pen drive this is your database folder virtual dj so when you open it you see this database here immediately you delete this database all your queue points will disappear or will vanish or when this the uh, database corrupt all your queues will disappear so don't you ever delete this this vector dj folder it is important okay so let's delete it so i'll go and restore the backup one so you guys will know how it works so you can see i've deleted so let me open the vector dj again so you can see that all the queues have disappear you can see they have disappeared so don't you ever delete that that folder you have now seen that immediately i launch the vector dj it will create another database you understand it will create another database again but we have a backup there so we need to reinstall it to get our queues back so you go to that icon again and click on it select database and click on reinstall database so these are the list that we make backup on so right now we only need our hot queues so we will untick all these box if you want to uh, back up your if you want to reinstall your um your mappers you need to tick it so in this video we are only doing the database that is our hot queues backup so after you tick that only the, only the database, then you click on select file and go to where you you save your the backup. So you can see that in my drive D, I save it here. So I click on it and click on open. So you can see our backup uh, zip file here. So we we'll click on restore backup. So it is reinstalling it. So you can see it has imported it so after i finish reinstalling the backup you can see the hot juice has come back again
we can now see so this is how how to back up your database and also restore your database to get your hot cues back so as a dj you need to back up your database and let me show you how to automatically back up your database go to your settings click on options type in backup so you can see automatic database backup period so the figure that you put here means the number of days between each automatic database backup it will make so if you put zero there it will miss you have turned off the automatic backup okay so this is all about the video so if you find this tutorial helpful don't forget to give it a like and also subscribe to the channel if you are new so see you in the next video